Well, from the wild and wonderful to puppets, one of the joys of childhood. And puppetry, one of the most ancient art forms in all the world that is thought to have originated about 3,000 years ago. And you're bound to find it on every continent, though it may vary from culture to culture. And here in South Africa, it is still a vibrant art form that sparks conversations about humanity thanks to the brilliant minds and hands at the Handspring Puppet Company. In the unique farming village of Barrydale, amazing puppets come to life in the Clane Karoo in the Net for Pret Puppet Parade and Performance, a public art project by the Handspring Puppet Company. According to the Handspring Puppetry Company, a puppet is an object used in performance that functions as an emotional or an intellectual prosthesis for that person. Well, today I'm going to find out a little bit more about what goes into this incredible art form known as puppetry, helping to put the final touches on a life-size rhino. Wow. Supercazi, hi, how are you? I'm good, thanks, and you? Oh, well, now that I'm seeing the bare bones of this incredible rhino, I'm so excited. So I've got to ask, why enter rhinos into the parade? As you know, like, all the people love rhinos. And then the other thing is, you know, like, there's a lot of pouching. Yeah. So we're trying, like, to call out to people to take care of the rhinos, because without rhinos, we are nothing. So as you know, the myth, they say the rhinos, they used to bring rain, and then the rain is cast in Cape Town, so you have to take care of. I'm seeing two harnesses here, which means to me, obviously, that this whole rhino, life-size rhino, is going to be supported by two people. How much will billets weigh once it's finished? It's 10 to 15 kilograms. It's not that heavy because, like, as, as you said, we put people inside, so we have to take care of wow. people's bodies. Yes. I'm in awe of what you guys do here. This is amazing. This rhino will be part of the performance tackling the devastating effects of rhino poaching on our country's most endangered large animals. And the aim is to raise awareness and educate the audience. And now, Blitz comes to life. Oh, that is amazing. All that remains now is to release this beautiful beast back into the wild. Well, I suppose in Blitz's case, into the celebrations at Barrydale. Guys, Thank you so much. This is a work of art. I'm amazed. The Net for Pret Puppet Parade and Performance draws puppeteers and local musicians and performers together. The local Barrydale school children form part of the project by creating smaller puppets of their own design in the showcase. We have started this parade and performance about seven years ago, and this year is our eight, eight years. And uh, it actually started from the guys from Handspring Puppets, uh, they have seen our children and they really fall in love with our kids and then they decide to that we will actually start a, a parade and from there we have every year we have a different theme and uh, yeah it was growing from there from actually was going from strength to strength. The parade is definitely something that brings the two communities that is divided together um, and at the end of the day what brings us together is love. <laughs> So for me, the, the parade and the show represents love in coming together as a community. For this small town, the performance is one of the highlights of the year. And the 2017 show featured original music by Peter Tekello and Gary Crawford. And the puppet extravaganza was directed by Aja Manavak. We have a big commitment to conservation and specific animals who are important to the local community here who are Khoisan descendants. So um, the local, local community is Hesekwa um, and they have a specific connection to rhinos and rhino mythology. And then of course there's the huge crisis with rhinos in the country and remembering that actually it's a major part of our heritage to connect with them on emotional and spiritual and cultural levels. So we're not just decimating the rhino population, it's the way that we interact with ourselves as human beings as well that it speaks to. Touching the hearts and minds of both adults and children, there is a magic and power in puppetry that tells stories that brings people together.